to um, to an approach that I talk to folks about. Um, and uh, there's an acronym that's used in the in this kind of context. Um, uh, it's RAIN, R-A-I-N. Um, and so um, R is for um, recognizing first of all your emotions. So um, and uh, A is um, uh, kind of accepting and, and uh, allowing those emotions to be there. Um, so um, I is for in inspecting, investigating. So kind of this sense of uh, this idea of uh, um, I'm feeling really sad. What's this about? What's bringing this on? Um, uh, is there something else um, underlying this? Um, so because um, once we, when we understand where our emotions are coming from, that's making us sad or angry or worried, um, then it can, um, uh, we can have more flexibility or uh, more ability to um, figure out what it is that we need in order to, to address that. Well, and, and I think I've heard it said too, and I think I've heard this acronym before. So before we get to N, um, while we're talking about inspecting and investigating, like sometimes just the sheer act of asking your brain the question, why am I feeling this way? Like is it's enough to kind of help get your brain back on board so that it's no longer stuck in this kind of animalistic fight or flight space. And it's now in the logical processing place, which is...